What a magnificent day today to do some solar charging. Not a cloud in the sky. I think I'm going to get a maximum today. Let's see what my system can do. Because we're going to be charging multiple power walls, multiple batteries. Let's see what we can get. As you can see, solar array is still more than halfway shaded, but it will get there. It's producing power. And today, officially, for the first time, we are going to be charging an electric car. Here it goes in, boys. Let's see what happens. She's starting to charge. After 10 months of waiting, my Mustang Mach-E is here, one with extended range, battery, 88 kilowatt hours usable, four wheel drive, rapid red, with the space gray interior. And she's going to be charging on sun today, on a solar power today. Can't tell you how happy I am that this car finally arrived. I always wanted a Mustang. Never had the opportunity to get one. I did have opportunities, but it was not practical for the family. This one can actually sit a bunch of people in. Here she is. Inside. She's booting up. and little interior we'll see how long how far we can charge her today on sun right now right now she's at uh, 64 percent state of charge and let's see how far we can get so i'm starting to charge the car before I have all the sun on my solar panels and we are at 68% state of charge on the power walls and we can see I got some sun right now I think I got about a kilowatt or so and we are pulling uh, 6,000 watts at this moment from the car uh, from the power walls Today is also a good day to do some heavy load tests on these LV6548s. So I'm going to turn this into a kind of a performance overview of my system. But washer and dryer are working. As you can see on the screen what kind of a load I have together with charging a car. I'll pay attention to the numbers and maybe stop a video too. Let's see if they're screaming outside. So inverters are screaming at this time. I think you can hear that. However, everything is working. Pulling 165 amps out of it right now. Battery state of charge is 62%. It's gonna go down for quite some time until everything catches up. But no issues so far. And of course, Mustang is still charging. We'll keep a progress update on that too. For a good measure, I have turned on the AC2. As you can see over here in the um, home assistant overview, it's cooling right now. So we are pulling 16.2 kilowatts off of those LV6548s. So far, so good. Load on the uh, Power wall is at 9 kilowatts. State of charge 59.9% at 12.09 p.m.
it is 12.21 solar array is currently outputting 9 kilowatts power will stay to charge keeps going down 57.9 percent since we have since we still have fairly large load and and solar array is still partly shaded almost out of the shade and we will be approaching maximum production within the next hour to two hours as you can see right here I did add a 50 amp breaker for EV charging and that is running on a 6.3 uh, cable from here to this NEMA 1450 outlet right now I'm only using a Ford provided charger however I will be upgrading to open EVSC charge station which can be controlled through home assistant outside temperature right now is at about 72 degrees Fahrenheit let's see what these panels what temperature is on these panels right now uh, panels with the white background are at 110 degrees panels with the black background are at about 117 degrees I expect these temperatures to rise during the day I might even come back and revisit this panels have accumulated some dirt on them over the last three or four days since we had the last rain still a bunch of pollen over here in the state of Georgia I think it's I think it can be seen on a video it's too bright for me to see on the phone right now that I'm recording with here we are at 2 p.m. performance test uh, currently we are at 14.3 kilowatt or 14 kilowatt home load discharging from a battery at 2.32 kilowatts the battery charge level has gone up to 60.5 percent and max output on a solar array today was 11.87 kilowatts current is 11.85 uh, total amount of energy consumed today from powerwall and solar is 38 kilowatt hours solar array so far solar array so far has produced 26.52 kilowatt hours we'll see how much can we get by six seven o'clock tonight forgot to mention then there is another laundry load that is being dried at the current time that's why here that's why we have such a high load and i'm pretty sure that in about 30 minutes we're going to have an ac kicking in too it will be interesting once we put that into the mix ambient temp in a garage right now is 75 degrees uh, let's see what we have coming out of the inverters it's about 97 degrees I don't see nothing funny going on shunt is at 85 fuses at 83, 84 Inverter number three is at 99. Everything is fine at this time. Let's go inside and see what else we have. It is 3.30 p.m. Current output of solar array is at 11.5 kilowatts. Max was still at 12 kilowatts. Production today so far was for, is 42.41 kilowatt hours. 
total consumed AC power is 50.39 kilowatt hours. Uh, we inverter temperatures are just fine, hovering between 56 and 61 degrees Celsius. Uh, PV charging is at 3.31 kilowatts, and the power wall is at 66.7%. Uh, we are about to leave home, go eat some ice cream. I'm about to start charging, stop charging the car, which is at 92%. Uh, we'll let the we'll let the uh, power will charge for some time right now. It's about 4:30 p.m. Afternoon sun. Let's see what we got in the back in regards to temperatures. In other news, fence is done. Panels with the black background at about 121 degrees. while the panel with the white background is at 111 or 10 degrees ambient temp is at about 75 degrees didn't get any higher 5 40 p.m doing uh, one of the last updates i think i will have one more update after this so far array has produced 63 0.21 kilowatt hours AC consumption today was 53.78 kilowatt hours um, we are charging Powerwall right now at 6.61 kilowatts we are at 94.1 percent we do see here some clouds rolling in and out but we are still producing 7.5 kilowatts at this moment uh, heat sink temperatures on inverters looking good that went down to 45 degrees Celsius. Smart shunt info is as here. Power walls looking good, charging. Everything looks nominal at this moment. And I do hope that I can actually charge a battery completely before the production stops. It's 540. I might get something until about 7 o'clock. So we'll see how that goes. Here we are. Power wall is at 100% or 0.1% less. Uh, I managed to squeak out 69 kilowatt hours from solar array today. Uh, total consumption for the house on the AC side was 55.82 kilowatt hours. Um, in addition to that, I added 28% uh, charge to the car, did two laundry loads, washing and drying. Uh, the system performed phenomenally. Uh, the, highest, the highest home load today, or highest load on an LV 6548 was around 18 kilowatts. I did not record that part, but that's where it peaked out for about last for about two three minutes. So all in all, it was a good day. Everything looks normal. Um, smart shunt shows this. Powers are looking good, and I think this was one excellent day for the power production at my home I hope you guys like this video it's not terribly too long I hope you stuck till the end and I think uh, the next video or two depending when I will do a review of LB 6548s you all have a great night